Do you ever cook spaghetti squash at home? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you my super easy, very simple, one-step method to roasting the perfect spaghetti squash. And it's gonna take away all the headaches of trying to cut this massive hard thing and scoop the seeds out and all that. Now, if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Michael Ponzio and I make cooking videos for you. So spaghetti squash is absolutely fantastic. It's used in so many diets, paleo diets, keto diets, used in a ton of different recipes for cutting carbs and things like that. It's also very delicious. I remember growing up with this, uh, my mother would cut it in half and stuff it with butter and brown sugar and baste it, but it can kind of be a bit of a bear to work with. So the first thing you know about spaghetti squash is it can be pretty rough to work with. I mean, this is a very hard, hard vegetable. So when you're cutting it, a lot of times what scares people is trying to cut into the spaghetti squash and get all the way in and down and through. Because most people don't have sharp knives at home. So when you get to the root part, it can be very, very scary. What often happens is the ends start breaking or splitting because your knife's not too sharp at home. Now my method is completely different. We're gonna use a sheet pan. And on this sheet pan, we're gonna put a nice bed of kosher salt. The kosher salt's gonna do a few things. It's gonna help the squash stay in place, but also pull some moisture out of the squash as it cooks, fortifying the flavor, therefore giving you a stronger squash flavor. I preheated my oven to 375 degrees, or if I'm using a convection, I do 350 degrees. I'm gonna place the squash right on the bed of salt. And this is gonna go in the oven for an hour. All right, so when the squash comes out of the oven, it's gonna have this beautiful kind of golden brown color to it. It looks really cool. I kinda of wanna put it on the table just as a decoration. One thing you're gonna notice is that it is very soft, and that's great. What's happened is the squash has softened, but as it's softened, it's releasing moisture and steaming the inside of the squash as well. So you don't wanna crack this open right away. If you do, you're gonna have a very, very hot waft of steam come at you, probably causing a burn or just general discomfort. Sounded like a medical commercial. Now rest assured that you can leave this squash sitting for 15, 20 minutes and it's still gonna be pretty hot inside when we crack it open. Now when it comes to actually opening the spaghetti squash, I just like to do a nice slit. You can see how easy we can get through that skin and just peel away the skin that's on there. So at this point now you can see if we take our fork, it's pulling apart just like a cooked spaghetti squash because that is what it is. But what I'm gonna do is take my knife and actually cut it open just like this. And that's gonna allow me to easily remove any seeds from inside just by pulling away with a fork. So you can see with this step, I have avoided all of the heavy cutting and scooping and all that. And I have just a nice, simple, easy to clean and easy to cook spaghetti squash. Make sure you save these seeds because now that they've kind of been steamed, they will roast up to be beautiful but I can take my fork and just move the spaghetti squash along and you can see it's perfectly cooked. You don't have any crispy edges or anything like that and this is ready to use for your fantastic recipes. Simple, clean, and most importantly, safe. Now what do you do with it? I like to hit it with just a little bit of salt and eat it as is or we'll make some bolognese sauce with it or if I'm doing pasta, use half the pasta and half spaghetti squash just to lighten the carb load a little bit. Um, but it's just a wonderful side dish. It's great, it's delicious, it's stringy, it's got an awesome texture. So let me know if you cook in the comments if you cook spaghetti squash at home or if you've ever tried this method or if you're gonna try this method because I wanna hear if it works for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications because there are constantly videos coming out because my goal here is to get you cooking like a professional chef at home. So if you like what you see, check out these other videos. I got a lot of great content on the channel and keep on cooking.